Skateboarding for me is a release. It's also a way to work through yeah. some frustrations and stuff. I mean, once you once you get comfortable enough on the board, you're a little frustrated during the day and you go skateboarding, you've got some energy out and you're ready to come back to it with the, you know, a better mindset. In an esoteric sense, it's it's cool to use the working tools of Amazing to guide yourself through making yourself stronger and will open yourself up to how other Masons in the past have done it and what worked for them. So these are kind of the, kind of the custom skateboards I do. Most of these go out to the local kids and I just uh, show up randomly at the skate park and, and hook everybody up with clothes from the warehouse and free skateboard decks that are donated from the lodge. Get free board. Let's do it! Alright, here we go. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, we got woo! -hoo! There you go, buddy. Thank you. Yeah. Yee! When I was younger, I used to get free skateboard decks from the local shop. That was such a joy. I mean, there was just no better feeling when someone's just like, here, you're progressing, keep going. And so now I'm just trying to recreate that feeling for other kids. Joshua Tree has an abundance of experienced and talented craftsmen and so th the festival around here because everything's repurposed and it still has to be st sturdy, uh, I mean, you can, you can really feel how much people care about making this place look funky. Yeah, this is the installation. Door's a little janky right now. Everything's repurposed and recycled, so some stuff is coming in. So like, but I'm normally in here in the seat, and then there's a desk, two chairs right here, and while people are walking around the music, like, uh, they'll come in and be like, what's this? And then I'll just drop, <laughs> drop some skulls out of nowhere on them, and uh, hit the floorboard so the desk shakes a little bit and just to catch them off guard, and then like, we're off to the races with our conversation. <laughs> I would say the turning point for me was knowing that I had to start growing up, start getting a little bit more serious, and having a, you know, a group of guys that are going to be understanding and not necessarily judge you and, and try and give you their most honest opinion on how to, to progress uh, positively through whatever the situation may be. The, the camaraderie reminds me a lot of just sort of sitting at, sitting at a skate park. You know, you end up becoming friends with just the people who want to be there. And you get to see who actually really wants to be there, who's going to put in the work and who cares. And uh, you definitely will make friendships with people that you wouldn't normally in everyday life just because you're all coming from different backgrounds. <laughs>